Um, principally, in the good old days when a patient would have a corneal problem, the only alternative would have been to transplant the cornea, the entire cornea, which means you're cutting out the cornea and you're suturing in with 30, 40 stitches a new cornea, which is everything else but atomatic. So the latest innovation was that you shouldn't transplant the entire cornea, but you should just transplant the part which got a disease. And by replacing the diseased part, you are less invasive and you're having a much faster visual rehabilitation without um, having an astigmatism provoked by all those sutures. Uh, the basic idea then came true and nowadays DMAC is the most rising part in corneal surgery. And what we thought to solve the problem is to let the surgeon focus on what he should focus, which is the surgery, but not preparing the DMAC tissue, which is a very thin and very fine graft, which is difficult to prepare and requires a stiff learning curve. So what we are doing is we had a set developed, which would enable the surgeon to have the tissue preloaded, similar like uh, since many years we having preloaded the IOL. So the cornea bank would prepare because they do it thousand times a day, the tissue inside our set and would just deliver it to the surgeon and he would use it and inject it in a similar way like he's injecting the IOL and he could focus on having the transplant in place. And how are the doctors receiving this technology? When you start talking to them, are they excited about it? Do they see how this is really going to make their uh, procedure more efficient um, and time saving? Currently, there are not so many. There are some surgeons in the US who started and they appreciate it very much. And we have one uh, hospital in Germany, which I visited myself. And the most surprising to me was that I saw on the OR plan. That's the first thing I do when I come into a hospital. I see what is planned. They have DMAC surgeries planned like a cataract surgery. They have it in between the day. In the past, they would have blocked an hour, not sure whether the transplant is going to work out. Now he has the tissue which is certified, he has the amount of endothelium cells which are measured and he can quickly and easy within 15 minutes do a DMAC surgery which is very unusual for me. Well that's really exciting and good luck here at APAO and um, thank you very much for this great update. Thank you for the opportunity Tom.